home. Let's talk about weather and the nice conditions we saw outside, although a little hot for me, but hey, I'll take it over any hurricane or impending bad weather. I appreciate it today's weather. Right, and yesterday too, we just had a nice weekend after it's been a pretty stressful week for mm -hmm. Louisiana. It's been a pretty stressful few months for, <laughs> for Louisiana all of us, with right? all of the storms that we've had to deal with. So it's nice to see this great weather and it's nice that I can give even better news that the fall like temperatures are going to be making a return. Just got to wait a few more days as we head toward the end of the week. It'll be feeling pretty nice and you can go outside without sweating in 15 seconds. High temperature today, 88 degrees, a couple of degrees shy of the record of 91. I'm not upset we didn't break the record from 1980, but all across the area, mid to upper 80s this afternoon, but lots of sunshine and some passing clouds as we take that live look outside. Highs near 90 again tomorrow, but we do have some cold fronts on the way and some mornings in the 40s and 50s and that's going to be feeling pretty nice, but it's not going to be here tomorrow. We'll have some patchy fog to start the day. Then as we go into the afternoon, warm and humid once again with highs approaching that 90 degree mark and we could see an isolated 90 or two, but not much happening this afternoon on satellite and radar. We did have a few passing clouds as that moisture continues to lift out associated with Delta. All the rainfall starting to spread well to the northeast now in the parts of North Carolina and Virginia. Here's our first front that's going to come and it will actually drop temperatures down a couple of degrees, but the stronger one still well off toward the northwest, still over the Pacific. That one's going to arrive Thursday night and it's really going to set us up for a beautiful weekend. And you can see with this first front, it actually is packing a little bit of a punch. It's 91 ahead of the front in Oklahoma City. It's 54 in Denver, 63 up toward Pierre, South Dakota. And so something to look forward to to go through the week. As you check out your forecast through the overnight hours, there's the fog that's going to spread out. Visibility down to a mile or less at times. And then as we continue through the day, we'll see the sunshine working in and temperatures again will be climbing into the upper 80s to right at 90 degrees. Maybe a little bit more fog on Tuesday morning as we'll see that front sweep through and help to bring that drier air in. And so it's going to be a dry front, not seeing much in the way of rainfall for us as we head throughout the week and temperatures will finally start to be dropping a bit as we'll see temperatures dropping into the low to mid 80s by Wednesday and Thursday. So again, by Monday, you see we have the heat. That first front's going to come through. That's going to help to drop the temperatures down some with some mornings in the 50s on the North Shore, low 60s on the South Shore and the noticeable difference, the humidity goes down and that's where you really can feel the difference. And then fast forward to Saturday. Saturday morning and we even have some 40s to some 50s even visiting the South Shore. So it's going to be some much cooler air moving in. We're kind of in this time right now where it's a little bit of a roller coaster. You think you need the jacket and then all of a sudden it's 86 degrees outside. And you need the shorts once again. Winds though out of the west northwest at eight miles per hour as we're still generally where our high temperatures were today in the mid to the upper 80s. And when you factor in the humidity in some spots, it's still feeling like the low 90s, but a little bit of a breeze to help cool you off maybe a little bit five to 12 miles per hour. So your forecast overnight watching for that patchy fog to develop warm and humid conditions temperatures in the 60s to the low 70s for tomorrow we give way from the fog to some sunshine in the afternoon but very warm temperatures but I think you'll like the seven day forecast as we see those temperatures dropping look at the weekend highs only in the 70s and some chilly mornings in the 40s and 50s so something great to look forward to yeah it's like a touchdown of a yes. forecast oh i know <laughs> daniel thank you <laughs>